Alexandra, welcome to Hong Kong. I guess welcome back to Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had a lot of long conversations, robust conversations throughout this process, and through that, we got to know a lot about your unique and international experiences. So maybe you can share with the community a bit about your past and mm -hmm. what made you what you are today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, uh, I would like to talk about my family, and I would say that my background is internationally oriented. Through my father's biography, I have a strong link to Switzerland, which I think comes in handy here with the school. Uh, my daughter was born in the US when we were living there. My partner is English. His daughter lives in Australia with her family. Uh, my son's girlfriend is currently in Toronto and my son has been in Hong Kong for the past four years. So that and of course my general curiosity towards um, other countries, other cultures, other languages, I think has given me um, an intercultural competence, intercultural openness, um, for new experiences. Interesting. So you mentioned your son based in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Was it your son or what was it that really, you know, made you choose GSI as the place you wanted to be? No, it wasn't my son. <laughs> Actually, I asked him for, for permission whether I was allowed to apply for the job, whether he minded that. Uh, no, there were several things. First of all, it was the school's profile. I was really attracted by the two streams. I was also attracted by the many nationalities that form the unique community of this school. I was also attracted by um, the tradition of the school. I thought that was quite an interesting uh, factor. Then, of course, um, Hong Kong is not a bad place and the location here is nice, but um, it's, it was mainly the profile of the school. I see. And when we were discussing a bit about, you know, your core thoughts, I think some of the things that really stood out included care for the community, mm -hmm. included, you know, things like excellence in performance, as well as, as you mentioned just now, celebrating yeah. multiculturalism. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can share a bit with the community about your thoughts there. You're absolutely right. I think these two go together, but as complementary forces, more or less, um, excellence is an essential factor when it comes to achieving your ambitious goals. But without care, I think you can't really feel comfortable at any place. So um, take looking after your cognitive skills, but also your mental and emotional skills, I think these two have to go together. And I guess you're coming to Hong Kong where it's a very fast paced society mm -hmm. and you're coming to Hong Kong at a pretty strange time in the middle of the school year in February. Yeah. Uh, you're going to pretty much be hitting the ground running. Um, there's going to be, you know, two streams to deal with, mm -hmm. K to 13, exams, graduation, preparing for next year. So what do you hope to really achieve in the first 100 days that you're here? Well, first of all, it's mandatory for me to get an overview, a good overview, to find out what's going on at the school. And I mean from bottom up, from kindergarten to secondary level, so all the different levels at school, find out what's going on. But also understand what works well already and maybe what needs attention, restructuring, whatever. Then, of course, um, dive deeper into my own fields of work and get to know as many people as possible by name. That's very ambitious, but we strive for excellence, don't we? Uh, innovation as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess, you know, because we, we wanted to give you some time to also talk a bit about your own thoughts. So any final initial thoughts you want to share with the community before you, you know, boots on the ground here, start your work uh, in February? Well, I'm very much looking forward to coming to this school, to working with uh, everyone. And I would say, let's move forward together without leaving anyone behind. Great. Thank you and good luck. Thank you.